Welcome back everyone. Ziggy here, part four. We're gonna do questions and answers. Go to the upper hall. And it's actually gonna be pestilence. The quest we're gonna be doing. But let's uh, firm up a couple things first. Let's get rid of some of this crap on our horse. Let's repair the saddle. Because I know it's at zero. Yeah. I don't know what the difference is. I really found no, the hell? I really found no downfall to not yeah. repairing it. It still holds the same stuff. And the performance is the same, so I don't know if it's a waste of money or not. But I'll show you how to do it anyways. So this guy will only buy swords. Let's see what we have. We just have a fear knot. Sell it to him. Good God, you look. Oh yeah, thanks a lot, dude. You know, so if we're gonna do repairs, we don't want to do them with him. I'll show you why. So just go to sell, sell the fear knot. Check basket, close deal. See you, bro. Because he only buys swords, and this guy will buy our, all our armor. So you want to do repairs with him, because the money you spend on repairs, they will have. So there's a couple things I don't need to repair here. And I think that's it. And everything else we will repair. Uh, select all. Take that off, sorry. Off that off, and I already have one of those, so okay, close the deal. And now go to your horse, and let's get all the crap off. And I didn't do this first because I didn't want to pick through all this stuff, what I was repairing and not repairing. So we'll just take everything. You know, I don't need to take necklaces and stuff. I'm keeping that helmet, it's actually the most expensive helmet I have. We'll take the books. I might keep armor kits. We can repair our own armor. It just seems so much easier to do it here. And any money I spend, I get back for selling stuff. And I got all this stuff free, so I don't care. And I'm willing to cut him a deal. And we'll take that. And that's everything. So let's talk trade. Sell. Armor. Boom. And just start selling anything you don't want. Keep the spurs for now. We'll save the gloves. So when we're nickel and diamond here at the end. Give him, make sure you give him all the armor first. You get the best price from him for your armor. 83 and we got 91. So there's 95. We didn't sell any good stuff, so let's go back here. 95. What else can we get rid of that's petty? 94. It's our cheapest stuff. 9,000. We'll take that. <coughs> Close deal. Let's wash up since they don't like the way we look. And we can do some repairs here. The girl doesn't repair, but she will sell. Select all. Oh no, we don't. Yeah, we'll select all first, and then we'll get rid of that. And close the deal. Now sell to him. And let's talk trade. Sell armor, and he'll take that. And let's get rid of some of this heavier stuff that we're not wearing. Oh, wrong way. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. 1.4, right there. You can keep the 53 bucks, thanks a lot. Double reputation, we give us better deals next time we come around. And we will be back. Next time we come back, all these guys will have like, way more money. Gold be. Um, you know what else I wanna get rid of? Hang on, sorry. I wanna get rid of the bows. I got some crappy bows like capons and that one and that one we're never gonna use. They're just dead weight we're carrying around with us. Stock trade. Sell. Let's see what we can sell. We're gonna save the spurs, so because they don't weigh but one pound. So we're gonna get stuck with some stuff. Let's get stuck. Well these are only half a pound. But we'll use those for our final dealings. And necklaces we don't need to trade. Two pairs of those. Those. Rings we don't need to get rid of. 
Right, let's get rid of the weapons too. Capon's bow. Those two bows. Not that. Not that, that, that. Not that, that, that. That, 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 that. That, that. That, and that. Okay, I think that's everything we need to get rid of. We can keep the spurs and the necklaces. And uh, we're good to go. So let's go to buy. And let's buy Naka Vitalis. Which is heals wounds. This is warfare and strength. And uh, rage. That's self-explanatory. We need a Bowman's Brew. Buck's blood is stamina. That's 20 energy. So we'll take a couple of those. Digest this in case you can't drink any more potions. And we'll take an agility and defense. And we'll take a full life. Marigold. A couple of those and take a night hawk, oh, a night hawk just for convenience purposes. So we get 24 out of that. Check basket course deal. That's it. Now call your horse. Bread, fresh bread, bread. Roll. Let's go get our saddle repaired. We got all Lady Stephanie's stuff too. We can be uh, going up and hooking up with her if we want. But we'll do that next time we're going there. Yeah. But actually it'd be a little tricky if we don't do it soon. So you don't want to wait too long on that. Go to your sidekick, tack, and then make sure you put the saddle on you. I'm also going to need the horseshoes in a minute, so I'll put those on now. And they're closed right now. Oh, they're open now. Just open. <coughs> Talk to bro. God yeah, whatever. Repairs. God be with you. Saddle. Select all. Oh, goes again. So now we put that back on the horse. Armor, saddle. If you can't get it back on your horse, you got to take some stuff in your horse inventory and put it on you. Just until you can put the saddle on. Then you can just swap it all back. Yeah. That's why I'd rather sell everything before I put the saddle on. So I think I got some business to do here first. Player, bow. We'll fix all this stuff up. Nine. Guys, we need one one sheep. We'll take us to ten and then we can buy the yeah. master bow. But while we're here, let's get the horseshoes repaired. We could probably shoot a dog or something. So, um Good save you. Yeah, repairs. Good luck then. Horseshoes. Done. So we can put those back on the horse too. Here anymore, so we gotta put the saddle back on. That's how close we were. Oh. Then we can put them on. So I'm just wondering if there's something I can shoot here that I don't get in trouble. You know what? If I went way over here, I could shoot that dog. here and now go to food and drink your Bowman's brew talk to bro God grunt and then training bow can you teach me to and guys we're buying the master level now hey good luck. let's get his quest too the nightingale we'll do that later any work so he wants us to find three nightingales, I think it is. And he'll give us the traps to catch them in. Yeah. See? That's it. Good luck then. Bird in the hand. So it gave us three traps, so there's three birds. Let's go do our stuff, guys. We're ready to go. Yeah. Let's make sure we don't need any food. Go up either stairs. My lord, I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no surprise. What has happened? Bandits have attacked Mayor Hoyad. Your graces. And the coins that we got. On the contrary, Master In Provincilovich. 
I like our fans. Ah, I play good, but then again, the silver mines are nearby. So and we are facing freshly a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doc. Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. <clears throat> Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Okay. Guys, there's a quick, easy way to do this quest. Just go to Mayor Hoyad. Kill the captive. Just get into the garage and kill him. And then you can go right to Radzig. But I'm going to do the quest right. So let's quick travel up here. Like I say, you can just go right in here. Get right in the garage. Just use your sword. Kill the bandit. And then check his body and he'll have a letter on him. And take it right to Radzig. Mission done. But of course you won't help the town. And I'm going to show you how to wrap this up. I'm going to show you how to get everything you can out of this quest. This is a great chance to up some skills. There's going to be a guy stop us here. Listen to me. Go, go there. Damn! Stay away from people if you can't ride a horse, you moron. What the heck? For Christ's sake, lad. So he's worried about the plague. Nonsense. Maybe I could help you out. Did you not hear me? There's a plague in Meadow. God be with you. Yeah, whatever. So yeah. guys, we're gonna wrap a bunch of shit up in this quest. So let's see what time it is. See everything right there. Oh yeah, it's getting late. Mother yeah. of God. So first thing you want to do is go talk to... I like to start this quest later in the evening. Yeah. So I get to sass out around 8 o'clock in the morning. 7 or 8. He's gonna give you the rundown. Tom, you're in the service. Took he me, took his me ears in. My luck hasn't been so good. He fell off a horse during the scavenge raid and broke his leg. Are you? It, he's getting by though. He's not sick. The raid. I they capture one. Um, Straw wants revenge. Doesn't matter. And then uh, the villagers all came out with pitchforks and everything. Fended them off. Okay, they wanted me to ask it again. Say the first one. And it's over. And then the sickness. So, when it started around the time of the raid. Everybody's puking and shitting at both ends. And half the animals, or half the people are sick and all the animals have died. Can I, uh, and then you're supposed to go see Straw. And you're supposed to see Malakar. And you, it's a good thing Malakar is there. I don't know what the fuck it said. What's Malakar? So he says, um... Stop just giving an order, that's not right. That's a good thing someone took the lead. Since when does... So he's he's taking the lead around here. Wait, wait. And he lives in the first house to the left, and Straw lives in the first house to the right. But we don't need to go there. Now you can just... Oh, fuck, I didn't want to do that. You can just knock his ass out. And hope you don't get caught, because Buddy's not around right now. Lockpick. Get an extra lockpick point. Just crap. Head this way. This is going to be the only risk we're going to take in here. Let's get some lock picking first. Now she's not sick, so she can catch you. This is the only risky one. You don't have to do this one, guys. <laughs> Why is this Be very happening? careful. Whoa. If it goes brown right away, just tap it and tap it again. Merciful God, grant his soul eternal rest. See, I couldn't get it, so I just tapped again. And that one's turning brown fast, so I'll just tap again. <laughs> She's on to me, though. I have to be careful. <laughs> and this will be good. Knock her out. Get some more lock picking over here. Just want the points. I head over this.
this away. And now all these people are sick and they can't catch you lock or pickpocketing them. But be careful because Buddy might be in there. See? How you doing, brother? But he won't come out because he's guarding the shop. So just do the same thing. And these people, even if they catch you, it, you won't get caught. So they can't squeal. So it's a perfect place. See? Brother? Oh, you have to go. So there's no penalty for... This is the practice spot, guys. And once we upgrade to the next level, you're going to see how easy this will be. And that's our goal, is to get the next perk. Lock picking. Stealth and lock picking. So there's no one in here and I can't get in that chest. I don't have the skills as yet. I don't think we're missing much if I remember correctly. And here we go. We're going to upgrade here soon. Before we're done this girl. So two or three. Whatever you feel comfortable with. I know you can get more oh. points. If you do every one individually, but sometimes when I did two, I was getting like 12 points for one. I was getting like 36 or something sometimes. I don't know what the math was. I couldn't figure it out. I tried. So lock picking, we're going to take uh, Silent Fiddler. And for pickpocketing, we're going to take Easy Way Out. And for Stealth, I recommend to take Crouching Chameleon. We'll worry about the other ones later. So now we can't get caught by her or anybody else in here. So you're just going to get as many as you can. It goes back twice as fast now. Just knock her ass out. Shit. So that's really the only perk you need. If you don't want to do too much. If you don't want to do too much, you can just quit. You really only need that easy way out. But I'm pretty sure that yellow bar loads faster the higher up you are. Right there. Orange bar. Damn. We're going to do a little test and see how far it goes in the timer. See how fast it comes back? Five, six. I want to see where it is at three o'clock. Six, seven. We can make this too because of the new perk. And that you can't oh knock him out. There we go. So we don't want to leave here too early. Like because we're gonna be here right till nighttime by the looks of it. You can try and pickpocket Straw, but he's like the girl. He can catch you, but he's not too aware. So he's an easy target. But I don't recommend this. But we're doing it anyways. It's not recommended. <laughs> Don't try this at home, guys. You can't knock him out. So close his door, too, and try to be on the other side when you're closing it. This is, is my advice. Can't stand it anymore, guys. We're about to fix that. So you're getting stealth for this too, huh? No chance of getting caught on these sick people. Zero. 
between me. Well, there is a little if a guard oh sees you. I can't I'll show you in a minute pain. where that might be. So another pickpocketing, and this one we're just going to take, um, I'll get this too. So for main level, I'm going to take local hero, so I have higher reputation and our higher stamina, strength, and uh, a few other things when I'm in a place where I'm popular. I'm going to take mule three so I can carry more stuff, because to me that's the most important. And for vitality, I'm going to take, um, it's either blood rush, after beating your first opponent, you get stronger, but what you want is berserk when your health falls to a minimum, because that's when you're in trouble. So that's when you're going to need the help. And this one you're going to take, um, Pocket Sight, you can take whatever you want, really. That's the best one. So now we can see one of the items in the inventory. There's higher pocket sights. So you can see, I don't know if it ends up being everything. I think it does. But like I said, this is great. Can't get caught. Chance to upgrade all your pickpocketing skills. We close the door. So that he couldn't see us do this either. And I don't think there's a chest in here. There might be. Yeah. And I think there's actually cash in here. So let's do this. Forty-eight bucks, guys. All right. So same thing when you get to Melkar's house. The people in the front room aren't sick. And if you try to pickpocket them, you can. But once again, if you get caught, it's not good. The guard may walk by here. I should have really closed that door. And you want the stuff in here. Some lockpicks and some more cash. Nighty night. This. I no. got caught by a guard here oh, before. I don't know how. But if you close the doors, you won't. So here's your next victim. Now pickpocketing is super easy. The only time it's troublesome is when you get the immediate caught. Like as soon as you hit the friggin' button. Oh, won't make that. See, that would have been impossible before, but not now. So when you're all done this, you can come back around again and knock them all out one more time for stealth. Or as many times as you want. As long as you don't start the quest with Malakar, you're not really on any timer. And you can sit here forever, just knocking out these sick people. Just move the clock ahead. They'll all be healthy again. So here's where you want to be careful. Because if the guard sees you walk, walking by the window, we'll get caught. Uh. So he seems coherent, but he's not. He's another guy who won't catch you. One, two. Yeah, so that yellow bar is moving faster the higher up you go. So this is a super win. Sweet Mary, Mother of God, I can't bear the pain. She can't bear the pain, guys. We're going to have to help her with that. You can't knock him out. Shit, I've had enough. So we're becoming a real pro. Only patrol at night. Oh, shit. I accidentally I held F once by accident and stealth killed them. Didn't feel like it was the right thing to do, but what's done is done. Huh? Oh shit, sawed off. You sawed off. Sawed off shotgun. It's got a lot of keys. 
sweet Mary, mother of God. I can't bear the pain. Oh, leave me be. I want to sleep. He can gargle. And he can talk at the same time. Oh, I should have did the lock picking. I, I lost a chance. Junk. Okay, so now you've done your... Oh, ho, 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 ho. you've done your best. Go talk to John Cougar Malakar. Cougar. Are you Malakar? Oh, so he's a little pissy because we never came to help, but we're here now. We didn't know. And he wants me to go to the monastery and see if they can find a cure. Tell them what's wrong and see if they can find a cure. But go talk to all the people first. So now the quest has started. Jeez. So Buddy wants me to help him. He wants to write a will. Wants to know if I can write. And he just wants to cut his son out of his will, his deadbeat, good for nothing, loser son. Yeah. To say, yeah. So he gives you a ring to give to Father Fabian and give him the will. So you don't have to do it. You can come back and say you did, and he'll still give you the 300 bucks. And you'll get reputation. But you'll get an extra 175 if you give it to Father Fabian, and you'll feel good inside. Let's actually. And do the girl last. Brother. Yeah, it's me, your Yes, it's um, me, your brother. Um, brother. Wait. I'll take care now. So he's sick. The guy that gave us the will, he's sick. So you got to see all these people. It'll tell you if you did it when you're done. So then you'll know you're done when you did it. And watch it when you come in here, you're in trouble. So he thinks you're coming to take his wife. Because she's sick. And then he wants, it doesn't matter what you say, they're both wrong. So just beat the living shit out of him now that you're tough. We got him now. And he's done. And just for shits and giggles. I'm gonna take all his crap. You gotta do it quick. Because he gets right up. Talk to him. Leave me alone. I didn't want to talk to you. Today. Don't speak to me. So now I'll go look at his wife. Hmm. Fever. Just like Melichar's wife. And then go see this girl. That's why we knocked her out first, so she'd be up when we got here. I've no soul. Gron, who are you? I'm me. Who are My you? My name is Henry. It's I'm here to help you. Yeah. Of course I'll help you. So just head over here, grab the spade ski. Head her on out. Wash up for this dirty job. And we're going to dig a grave for her husby. Husband. Husband. Fix his final resting place. You know what? Just in case he wants to get out, if he's not really dead. Oh. We're going to give him a spade. Because we have two. Okay, back to our inventory. And let's drop all the shit that we stole to bread, drawers, carrots. Uh, I think I put something on my horse by accident. Onions. His booties. Did I put something stolen on the horse? That's good. Yeah, those stupid pants. Let's get rid of those. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And that's it. We'll keep the band-aids. And Drop the spade in there. There you go. Just in case he wants to dig his way out, or I need some clothes while he's in there. There's some food. And then grab him. 
Look out. Let's, you look out. I'm helping you. Be so damn bitchy. Dear Father in Heaven, please take this soul into your holy kingdom and receive thy bounty through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And, uh, yeah. Okay. You know what? Good enough. Bury him. Everything's in there with him. So talk to her. She'll tell you what's wrong. Will you please... Investigate the plague. Done. So now you've got like a day. I don't know if we should read a book now. Can we sit here too? No. If we head out now, it's a little too early. We won't be able to deliver the note to Father Fabian. Yeah. We could just quick travel there, but... I'm going to show you another spot. But we still have some light. When you're coming down this path, before you hit this set of bushes, you'll see another path right here. If you come in here, you'll see a grave. I'm going to grab our other spade. Sidekick. And there's not much in here, but I was just showing where it is. And if you're riding right by it, I forget what it is, but it's something that's kind of okay. Oh yeah, poison. Oh, and you can take the ear too, because uh, Robotron will give us money for them. 35 Grosha. Yeah. Doesn't like to go out that way, stuck in the grave. Now there yeah. might be bandits here too. What I like to do is I like to lead them into town and have the townspeople kill them. That's always fun. And they could be right down here. If there's a wagon in the way, they're here. Yeah. But they're not here. And I'll show you another little something something. Originally this game, before it was released, sometime in the like alpha stage. There was a quest called the flute. It no longer exists, but the placeholder for the flute is still here. So they're heading in. Let Buddy deal with his own thief. If the guards don't want to help you, I don't want to help you. Somebody's still moving around. He's going to bed. She's going to get water or something. She's just going to have a fucking seat. And he's in bed. So the best way to tackle this is kill their fucking dog. It'll spark its fucking head off. Okay. Now you can head in. She probably left it open. Bitch. So hopefully he was sleeping as we've seen. So slick, no one will catch us. And now this is just a placeholder for a forgotten quest, the flute. You notice that there's no you notice there's no flute there. I don't think I got caught either. Why? Because we are so slick. So let's put a torch on so Buddy doesn't say something to us. We don't want to arouse suspicion. Oh, I forgot some food. guy now he doesn't have any food so if you go here you can see they all have this gold placeholder and there should be a flute in here but there is no flute and all it says is simple wooden flute not too loud and there is no quest for it we got this from um, 
Nightingale? Fine cross guard was engraved in Sassau, and there's no quest for that either. It's worth 600 bucks, but you can't sell it. Flute's worth 10 cents. You can't sell um, quest items. Oh, sorry, torch. So we're clear. Now we'll just head down to the monastery. We have the crown waiting for us with Lady Stephanie, but we have to pick it up. Yeah. If you want, you don't even need the, to have the recipe. Yeah, I watch where you're going. You just left. talk to your big honkers. I mean, you honka. You honka. Uh, Henry. That's me. So you tell her what's going on in Mayor Hoyad and you need some help. She says, talk to Father Nickel Penis. But we're not going to do that right yet. I'm just going to go in here. And you're going to grab... Excuse me, Penis. Right in here. It's not stealing. Grab the charcoal. Grab the marigold. Grab the thistle and the valerian. You can also pick up all these band-aids. Some good fresh band-aids. Blessed by the priest. Here. So in order to make this, you don't need to have the skills. You don't even need the book. You just hit I. And you're going to put charcoal, thistle, and valerian in there. Hit escape. And then grab water. Hit E. Put it in. And grab two thistle. Just drop it in. You don't need to grind it up. Please help me. Hit Q and that'll trigger the bellows. And turn that biatch once. When it's about halfway, hit the bellows again. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. And then turn it over again. Hit the bellows right now. Wait till it's done. Your hourglass. Now grab the valerian. Put that in. Turn that bitch over. And hit the bellows. Hit him again just for good measures. And wait till it cools down. Don't hit the charcoal because he won't hang on to it. Like the other ones, he had to hit E to put him in the cauldron, but this will go right in. You could probably do it now, but I like to wait till it goes off. Hit the charcoal, put it right in. Grab a vial. And you just made the cure, the remedy for Marihoyad. Hold the E and it'll pour it in the vial. And I'll tell you, we made a new potion because it's not even in our book. What will happen to my family? Remedy for Marihoyad, I discovered a new recipe. Just hold the escape and you're out of here. So now we need to wait till morning before I trigger all this. So you can sleep in any of these, even the place right next door over there you can sleep in. But I like this one because I can get a free lockpick. I should have used my torch when I came in here. So let's put that on. Because the, oh, it is on. Why does it not feel like it? There it is. Have a seat. And let's read a book. This is a great time. We need to kill some time. This is a great time to read some, do some book learns. So we can't read that. We can do the horse ones, but I'd rather do some primer maybe. I don't need that. Um, I don't think we're that far, but let's try it. Level 10 on lock picking. Pocketing. So we're going to take... Um, Hidden pockets, if you get caught with stolen goods. I'll show you how to get away with that. I did show earlier, but if we get in trouble again, I'll show you. Oh, what am I doing? I want a book. So, yeah, that's good. So let's see what one we want to read. If I can read the lock picking, I'm going to. Yeah, after level 10. We were 
what, nine. So let's read primer and get our reading skills up. I double tapped that by accident. And then we'll uh, see if we can do a horse after this. Yeah, we definitely can. Our energy's at 84. We're not in too bad a shape. Okay, let's see if we can read primer two. And I don't know if we could do any more reading. So let's see what we got. Being well learned, you make a better impression on people and get a one percent speech bonus. Doesn't matter where you read, you get a reading bonus. We'll take that. And then can we actually read something else? Let's try the horse. Um, no, we'll do... Yeah, it's the only one we can do right now. Try number two. It takes a little longer, but you get more out of it. And that's perfect time to get this show on the road. Now I'm going to firm up another quest, Man of the Cloth. We're going to end up failing some parts of it, but that's because we're going to pass it a different way. And it's just, it's just going to be way more convenient for us. So we can ace the torch. And now let's head down. Downtown. Good old downtown Sasau. A sassy sow. They should be heading in by right about now. And this looks like him. Okay, this is Scallop's priest. Talk to him. I need your Father, help. I, need you. yeah. uh, I think this is better because he was originally the right one. So. Why? It's your parish. So let's try to talk him into it. Just give him pay. Him. Three hundred bucks done. And where will I live? My house and skeletons must surely be in ruins. You can live right there at St. James. Well, it's true they've treated. Thank you. So we actually got the original priest back, but we're going to fail some stuff here. Don't worry about the speech perk. But it's not really a fail, we just did it a different way. Not the way it was recommended. So we still left poor old Father Simon up there in the bush with a couple guys. But later on we'll be heading up there to get a book. And so we'll see what's going on there. So I'll just read that right now. Just for the points. And then we'll put it back. Because we don't steal. From churches and we're even going to throw in as my gift to the church an extra book so it's just who I am money means nothing to us right now and drop down here your goal let's up our reputation and here's father Simon who will take the note Vincent father, sent me what then you can ask about his son too. We might meet up with him later. May the Lord watch over you. That's it. So we parted with the will, but for some reason we get to keep the ring. I hear you. So now we're going to head back up to the monastery and we're going to firm this up. I like to do it this way just for shits and giggles. We're not going to pick up Stephanie's crown because we got to come back here and we'll get it later. But in this episode. Yeah. So now talk to Father Nickel Penis. He's still hanging around. 
and tell him there's a plague. So kind of it's intriguing. It's horrible. And then half the houses, it's the ladder of both choices here. And half all the animals. And uh, yep. I do know what's going on. I can read. Where do we start? So he says, go read the book over there of known illnesses. Or plagues or whatever. And it's in here. If you read it, it'll tell you that it's poisoning from water. All those symptoms. And now you just gotta hang on. And you can pick up. Notice it's not stealing. So you gotta wait for him to come over here. There's truth in the old saying, Monasterium sine libri est sicuta civitus sine Dude, opulus. come on, let's go. A monastery without books is like a town without wealth. I know, I can't steal them, you're right here. So, now talk to him, tell me you know what's wrong. I think I have... Yeah. Poisoning from water. It's poison. And, um, I can, I I can, can do it, we've already brewed I it. I mean... Me oh, yeah. And then, um, good luck. Good luck, Brother Nicodemus. And to you, Henry. And then we'll do the training Would you too. Teach me more, sir? Oh, no. Good luck to you. And here he goes. And he is going to run the whole way there. So yeah, I can't steal those books. And then your honker is coming too. And if you follow them, they're both going to run the entire distance yeah. to Merhoyad. I have followed them many a time. Well, I shouldn't say many, a couple. So just head there. And uh, they should be there by now. So I don't know what to do. We got some time to kill. We can't do anything till he gets here. So we'll just move the clock ahead a bit. Done. That's all it takes. And there he is. Look at did we nail that or what? Bro. So here I am. Yeah. Okay. So they help Perhaps me. I'll be able to Good luck to you. I help them, they should help me. So we're supposed to give the cure to all the sick people. Boom. Brother. That's right. Tell him to give it to everybody in the house. And off you go. Your honker should be coming right behind him. Give it to this girl. Your back? Yeah, my back's <laughs> alright. It's a little sore, but thanks for asking. So he gave her the cure. Now you'll know you're done because it'll say, it'll tell you you've completed giving the cure to everyone. Didn't look like it, but we did. He's supposed to be looking after her anyways. So I like to do these people just to make sure. Go. I did it, and this should be the last guy. If it doesn't go, if it doesn't go off the quest complete, then go talk to Nicodemus again. Your back. I don't. Why, why is everyone worried about my back? I took it to the priest. It, I actually, really did too. Completed. Give the cure to the sick. Now you just gotta talk to Melancart. There he is. Tell him this one first. I found out what caused the ailment. And it's poisoning from water. I and I brought some help. And thank Nickel Penis. I don't think that really matters, that one. And Buddy will leave now. Although we could have got in there before and just killed him and took the letter to Radzig. But we wanted to help the village. Hmm. Now let's wait and see what happens. So you got some time to kill. Grab some chow. Let's read a book. You want a short book. So you only need a couple hours. So let's go to... Horse riding one. Put that on me. Yeah. And that'll be perfect. And then we just have to go check on Buddy and see what he's got to say. Boom. Check on the bandit. He's up. I've never seen him. Yeah, I was going to say I've never seen him up. Back to he the dropped fast. What a faker. 
My name. Let's hear from Sir Rajay. He's going to sing okay. like a bird. He's going to tell us about the chief. What? He's not going to tell us a whole lot. Tell us about the foreigner. He's going to tell us how he knows about Pravitslavish. Why did he? They attacked Merhoyed just to flex. And he knows about the counterfeit Groshin. Men hearts in charge. And who else knows? Just the top dogs know. And Runt's one of them, Whoa. but Runt's no longer. So that's, that's all. And then that's up to Sir Radzik. And now Straw's coming after him. Henry, I think old Straw's come for the brigand. Because the guy killed Straw's son. At Get least some of them did. Eden, and he wants revenge. So say, um, ah, do, you want do what him. you want with him. I'm done here. You can't get in. That's it. Leave it up to them. Now let's go see Radzig. We'll zigzag it up here. So that's it, guys. We've done Mirhead. Come back in a couple days, and you'll get a reward, and everybody will be better. And you saved an entire village. That's how you save the world, one village at a time. So head straight on in, you should run right into the zigzag. There's the man. And tell him the mostly good news. We only talk about Merhoy yet. I've returned from Merhoy. How does it look there? I brought them help from the monastery. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Thank Christ. What about the captive? Did you Yeesh, question well. him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? I managed to question him just before the villagers came to take revenge. What? Taking the law into their own hands? Dude, go easy on them. I wouldn't be too hard on them, sir. I suppose you're right. Of course They've I'm paid right. paid the price for their sins already. That's right. Anyway, that's not important now. He was transporting the false coins to Pribislavitz. I don't know him. Neither do I. So we're going to go to the Excellent spot where they meet don't the go. wagon. Take care. This is a touching moment, guys. We're going to smoke a bowl for this. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. That's right. At least not without beatings and torture. No, we don't mind doing that, too. Work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Sometimes I ask myself... Sometimes, just sometimes, sir. ...what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. He's not theologian, guys. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. Man. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in like life. Like Coupon. Young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. True relations spawn in life over and over again. We must stand our ground and face them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can right. rely on me, sir. We don't need your pep talk. Good luck, son. Good luck, son. Anyways, let's mount her up. There you are. And let's head off and see what's going on. We got a double duty here. So we're going to head down to Ravna. We're going to double down. We're going to go tell the guy we found the priest, the Scalitz priest. Fuck Father Simon. He wasn't conveniently located. And the book we need, we don't need till we're level 15 strength, so we can do it later. That's why I decided. And plus, this was the Scalitz priest anyways. He's the one who really deserves to be here. We don't want some priest that's going to be banging chicks and getting them pregnant. That's what happened with Simon. With I found you a priest. Really? Yeah, no, I'm lying. <laughs> that's wonderful news. Who is it? I tracked down the Scalitz priest. At the time of the attack, 
He was taking confession in Sasau, so there he stayed. Ah, well, the main thing is he's been found. You'll see. Once there's a priest, people will soon be back. I hope so. I've put together a small sum uh, for a new piece. So I thought... Uh, well, it cost me 300 to get him, so I'm taking thanks. it. It's 250 oh, You're welcome. So? I'll keep an eye on him. I'll be with you. He's still happy. It only cost us 50 bucks to get that priest. We still put our own money in it. And we did it. Man of the cloth. Not the way that they initially intended. And to know that the Scalitz priest will do it is a fluke. I just talked to him one time when I was up there bringing the letter to Will. And I realized that he was going to help. I'm like, well, this is a lot more convenient. Good God, what a bloody mess. We'll take his 10 cents. I feel bad, but I'm taking it still. What's he got? 210. So that's 220. That's half an ice cap. Ice cappuccinos are 420. Or, yeah, 420 at Tim Hortons right now. So let's open. This is a toughie, guys. We've got lots of lockpicks, so. And we're going pants shopping, guys. Check this out. That baby's worth it. And the pants. Look at $523 pants. The rest of the stuff doesn't make. So I'd have to be 430 It doesn't make it. That'd have to be 330 We don't want it. It's got to be 100 bucks a pound. Let's put on our new drawers. $523 pants. Come on. Get ready of these. I'll put them on the horse. And that's it. So we can put a lot of this shit back on the horse, too. Since our horse is already overweighed. We'll keep that solid gold and spurs. And uh, we're good. Let's put that on. This is valuable. They must have been in a hurry or they'd never have left it behind. Yeah, that's true. Those pants? Come on. Obviously, gouchés. Gachi. Charcoal burners. That was the early Gucci line. Gachi. Okay, go put your horse right over here. Right there. And now we can sweet talk this guy. Is our charisma's kind of high, but I like to bunch the shit out of him. Just for the extra points. Good day. What? So say the last one. Well, and he'll you're fight not you. the only one. Let's go, bro. Ah. Think you're tough? <laughs> Try not to get him down. Get <laughs> his back against something, and you can start doing the clinch. He's going down the hill. Oh, I got you, bro. Don't you worry. He's tough, but he's not as tough as us. There we go. Look at that. You weren't even supposed to knock him out. You were supposed to talk to him again. Full show on that death, that death scene. He was going to give you the key. I'm not going to use it anyways, but... Normally you wouldn't have knocked him out, he would have just gave up, and then he would have gave you the key. Even if Buddy's right beside you, they don't do anything. They're too scared of you. So we get the lockpicking skills. As you can see, this is a very hard. Oh, there's, there's enough in here for an ice cap. We can get our finally get our ice cap. Two of them. You go see, bro. Who are you? You can say whatever you want. Do it. What the Talk and you'll live. Do it. Who are you working for? Um, Ambush wagon. Let's go, dude. Do, uh, oh, what was it carrying? He's not sure. And then he's going to tell you about the Black Knight. Knight! Where's the coin? What? what Watch coin? the punch this guy throws. I will not repeat the question. I, I don't know about any coin. Let's Boom! Knocked him right off his fucking from the wagon. They're behind the shed. That's him. That's got to be that knight. Is that all? Did you take anything? To the Batmobile, guys. Just had him off. <laughs> and then head up here. Bail. Get up on the roof. Oh, 
nicht mehr. Just fire one in his melon and your mission is complete. Kurva, Anat, you have got me. Finish him, guys, me. trust me. I should search him. Christ. I may find something. So, you want the document? Take the cash. Oh, whatever we took. I want that. I want that. I'll take those. I want that. No, definitely take that. We'll take that, and we'll take our arrows back. And let's firm up now our armor. Trust me, it was the right thing to do. So we got a spare set of these. It just needs to be repaired a bit. And then we got better paladrons. And we have, those are better, so that's good. Now you can put that on and get rid of the, because that's 17, and the Warhorse one was only 12. Oh no. This one too. That's 15. The war horse was only 12. And that was 17. That's only 14. So now we have better gear. We'll put that on. And there you are. Looking pimp as hell. Look it. Let's take these off and on so you can see them on top. There you go. And look at our Christmas 10 and we're dirty. So we're good to go. And now we have our document. You can read that to get the extra points. Let's get on our horse and we can head on back. Put the bow away. And now we gotta go see um, Fast Feet, Fast Funky Feet Fafar. That's what they used to call him back at the old uh, Rate dances. Funky Feet Fafar. Um, no. Ain't got, ain't got no time for that. And we can come back there eventually and get some points. We still haven't gone back to see, um, oh shit. This won't take long. Yeah. I know it won't, but I'm out of here. We still haven't gone back. We could almost do it now. I keep saying it, but I haven't finished it. We could go back to Neuhoff and talk to Ginger. I thought he gives you a strength point, but I found out he doesn't. Sometimes he does, but last time he just gave me cash and a reputation. So we're going to find out. I don't know if the reputation, I was maybe at that point, where yeah. the reputation was enough to up my strength or something. I'm not too sure. But I talked to him once here and he gave me strength. Okay, looks like he's going to bed though. Looking for Ginger. Huh? Ginger. Ginger. Let me get a torch on. You can come all the way here for nothing, guys. Okay. Villager. You guys seen Ginger around? Ginger. You told me you'd teach me something useful. Aye, and I keep my word. I see they took you back in. They have, but... See, this time the reputation got us in horsemanship. I... Anyways. That's what we get. Last time I got strength. And one time I just got cash and a reputation. This time I got horsemanship and a reputation. So it looks like it's random. Okay, let's go find Funky Feet Fafar. We're doing good here, guys. And I'm not disappointed with this run, that's for sure. Oh, stop for pilgrims all the time. It's very rare. It's usually a corpse or something where you get in trouble. Please. Oh. Help me. Guys, what we happened can't. to you? Right from the start, we helped a girl. Terrible things, sir. Terrible things. Uh oh. God must be punishing me, but I truly don't know what I've done to deserve it. Those devils killed my man and then had their way with me. Oh. I gave birth in the woods. Like you look animal. like you liked it. Though. So I beg here at the road. Sorry, guys, I shouldn't have said that. Nothing else that was is left wrong. To me. Be most a few groschen, sir. Can I say she looks so like a dirty girl, though? Milk for the little one. 
just for Oops. the laughs, I'm giving her five groschen. Sorry about sorry about that and the jokes. It wasn't funny, ma'am. I apologize. Don't ban my media accounts. And off we go. Had their way with her. Just the way she said it. I was thinking, you know, it's kind of half-heartedly. But then my comments were out of line. Although I, I felt like it was funny, but you might not have. And if you didn't, I apologize. Yeah. So we're going to go see Fancy Funky Feet Fayfar and find out what we're supposed to do. We're going to wrap up this whole thing. Huh? thought he was after me for a minute. How you doing, brother? Going in to see Funky Feet. Funk. Greetings. What do you need? Um, fake Russian Master dude. Master Fayfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit... Did you really? Close to Rovner. Damn and blast. Yes. Unfortunately, I... Oh. Emblem? Hmm. We, the Alderman of the <laughs> Interrogation held this day... He's reading it. ...put to pen by the Quester... The letter that we got from the, the guy we The place of origin is a monastery the in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Rose sounds like Rosenberg's to me. Ah. Doesn't it? This look... How do you know? I recognize... Yep. So Rosenberg's... Rosenberg. I knew it. Who's that? I knew they were behind it. The Rothschilds. So the, I knew they were behind it. Where... That's it. See you later. Find out who in Sassau works with copper. He got dressed and he got undressed just like that. That's how he rolls for bedtime. So let's go. We're going to Sassau. Let's get sassy, guys. And we're going here. Now we're going to get there late at night. I'm going to show you another little trick ski. We are going to definitely milk this for all it's worth. Let's hope we don't get jumped here. Like, we will get stopped right here. But we're going to get through it. Yep. We got here in perfect time. Now, unfortunately, yeah. when you get here, everybody just spawns. Like, they're just spawning now. At, and they're all going to walk around before they go to bed. See? So I'll just hit T, enter, escape. Yeah. And the first guy you want to get is this guy. Knock his ass out. We don't have time for pickpocketing. They are awake. I don't want to get caught. And then rob him, and he's got some stuff. We want. Thousand bucks, almost nine hundred bucks, in a couple days. Thank you, my good man. Knock him out. See, this is what we want: is the stealth. And they'll all have a bit of cash. Get some lock picking skills. Take his cash. We should get another stealth too before we're done this. If 
pretty. Might as well take his lock picks. He's got ten of them. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to take that. Let's see what I took. What did I take from him? Lock picks. I don't know what we took. I have nothing else that's stolen. I felt like I took something. Not a big deal, anyways. Matthew? I'm not taking their cash. Oh, I might have took his cash. And I didn't mean to. Because they're my buds. I'm just using them for the points. Everybody puts their clothes in here. Before they go to bed, they share the same clothes locker. Now if you really want, you can get some extra strength points here. Can't see a fucking thing though. But we did it. He looks like he's awake, but he's sleeping. Take his potion. I'll take his other, his necklace, sure. Hope that we can, oh, didn't mean to take his key. Hope we can have that not stolen after a while. We don't steal from barmaids. There's actually nothing in this chest, I just want the points because it's a hard. Good day to you. You too. My friend, you're it. So he tells me to go talk to the overseer who's so holding back the goods. What? Really quick server for. Uh, Thanks, that'll be all. And then um, buy from them. And you can get the book and the dice, or I mean the map. Check basket close to you. Could have stole it, but. Open this up. Go ahead. I don't think there's much in it you want. Take all oh, the cash. Yeah, I forgot. And if you've been following along, you should be at the lock picking level where you can do that. And that's it. So now, if you want, let's see where our energy's at. Fifty-three. So make sure you have a book in your inventory that you can read. We should have something, Tavern Life 2, yeah, we can read that. Treasure map, and we got that way at the start. That's just up the hill. Sleep and save. And just crank that biatch, and about eight o'clock get up. That's good enough. Now I recommend get some cock in you. That's 20 more energy. So we're up to 88. We're out of here. We're looking good. Yeah. We're firmed up. Feeling good. So now we have to go see the overseer.
So there's other ways to quick up this mission too. I'm going to try and do the right things. Like you can skip a lot. So talk to the overseer. And he tells you to go see the underseer. That's what I call him. And go see buddy. Jesus. And don't take any shit from him. And just uh, the poor painter. And then just hit him with this. Don't lie to me. And he spills the beans. And then what? Did they threaten? Uh, not at first. So he's, they did kind of threaten him. How did you hunt? What did they? And you said, very well. May the Lord watch over you. You too. How do you, how do you get the quicksilver? He said, I take it up the hill. It's literally what he said. Yeah. So we can go up the hill and see what's going on. You should have enough charisma to pull it off. We're just all around a charismatic guy now. But we can repair some of our gear while we're here in town. Just come in and talk to these lads. What's up, my good brother? I like his gear though, but. Is that some new kind of gear? You guys, I like your helmet. Why are you just... So I'll just say, do you know someone called Rap Rapota? And then say this. Look, you little... I'm just keeping an eye on things. Now, if you don't have the right reputation, you might have to fight him. Where's... I... Enjoy the scenery. I'm going to let him live. Yeah. Okay, so now we can just quick travel. Because Funky Feet Fafar is now... In Sasau. He's undercover incognito. We're going to get Matthew and Fritz. Uh oh. They caught me for robbing people. Somebody saw me do something. So just pay the fine. That's fine. Get over here, brother. I'm in a hurry. Surrender. You win. You've come No need for violence. I'm not going to resist. What the hell do you think you're. Well, you won't. Yeah, I was knocking people at 80 bucks. Go fuck yourself, bro. Yeah. And there's the charlatan. We'll be dealing with him later. Not right now. So if you want yeah. to bonus that, we already went through that, right? Who am I seeing? What am I doing? Guys, I made a mistake. I'm going to see Funky Feet Fafar. I said it. But I was just running off reflex. The Lord be praised. You look different. You look different, Master. Why? Why? I don't want to alarm our prey. See? That does make he's undercover. I know everything. I, it, I have some so he says go you, talk to the prayer. scribe I'll guy. And that's it. Good luck then. Now, if you want a super double duper bonus out. I hope I can be up. Of course you can. Let's talk trade. Let's buy everything. Except for what you've read. Check basket close deal. The other. Just start reading these bitches off. Anyone without a bookmark you can read. Harder to get a level now, because we've moved up pretty far. Oh, I missed one. But we're pretty damn close. And then we go back to him. Sock trade, sell, and just sell him everything you've already read. Two hundred and thirty back. I think it costs us eleven hundred bucks for the books. Reputation gained. Lean, fat, marble. We're gonna ride back because I've got a couple things I want to yeah. do here. Before we 
go see him. First thing we can do is head over here. And let's go get a treasure. We're in the neighborhood. Yeah. And there's some good stuff here. Take it off. Now let's go see Matthew and Fritz. Yeah. We've been ignoring them. Never. Henry! Hey! What's up? Matthew! Henry! I'm glad. Matthew! Fritz! You're alive! Of course we're alive. So we haven't seen them since Scout Ships. can't get rid of us that easily. The start of the game. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are alright. We are now. But we barely made it. Yeah, yeah. How are you two guys? So are, no one's looking for the carpenters? So they got in some trouble at the church. I'll try to help you find a job. That's what we do. Henry's Employment Service. What can you do? Carpentry. Who else survived? Johanka. Teresa saved me. She did. I don't want to lie. Talk to him. Jesus. So he can train me for stealth. And we're really moving up on stealth. Good health to so we can do the next training for like stealth. Uh, and now we're up above level 10. So we can do the next training like for stealth. Uh, nah. And there you go. Mm. Now Fritzy, he's got a little bit of a story to tell. They got in some trouble at the monastery. Hey, how'd you get so fucked up? You mean pimped out? The monastery... I'll just say all right. If you say so. Training. I want to get. I mean, oh. so we can help them pay their debt. And that's we we haven't had enough to fight yet to get the next one. But let's double I want check. To, I'd like no, first you got. Well. First you got to get in some fights. Goodbye. And that's it. We're done with them. Yeah. I jumped too. Come on. Too much horse for me, guys. So let's go up and see this guy. Now he's got the crown too, so we can double duty this. We're gonna ask him where uh, his buddy is, his helper. Good health to you. Yeah, you too. Let's get the crown. What about the crown? I'm a man of my word. Of Thank the Lord you found that Moldavite. So we got it all. How goes the work, Mark? Now we can go see Lady Stephanie. What are you? So you talk to him, and he doesn't work alone. His helper is sick, Florian. And that's who we're looking for. We've got a hint. We've got a message for him. Does he have enemies? Nobody's got a bathhouse girl, he sees. I'll be going. So now we got to find Flo Bro. You may as well ride this one, too. Yeah. We're gonna go stop at the bathhouse and get our charisma up. And this will help you with this part of the latter part of the quest. Yeah. And we have to stop here and talk to her anyways. We don't really have to, but I said we're gonna do it right. Good God. Uh, you won't be saying that when I'm done, Florian. What, what happened? Well, he, he made good with one of the bathhouse girls. Gave her poems and she fell in love with him. And then these guys that are after him took his girlfriend, Esther. I'm interested. So. Um, have a bath and launder my garment. Get myself fixed up a bit. 
have a bath and get my clothes washed. But I okay. I take care. We just wanted to do the quickest one. This one doesn't take any time. And aren't we done with you? How come it still oh. says? I'd like to know. Last year. Yep, we've asked everything and dialogue. Goodbye. Yeah. So there's Rapita's horse, and he's right here somewhere. There he is, right there. And we could actually f firm this up right now. But you're not supposed to know that. So come on here, talk to Flo, bro. I hope. And say, you look fucking you sick. And then he's going to tell you, oh yeah, we said the wrong thing. That doesn't be Listen, I, I said the wrong thing twice. I'll save right, Esther. Yeah. Right, we're, we're See you later. So now you know. Don't do what I did. So now if you go to your map. And we go to, oh, let's go to turn on the quest. And you can take off at your service because we're all done. We just need to go drop it off and put on Damsel. And that'll show you where she is. So quick travel up to Ravna. Did I get on my horse? I hope so. It's cruising pretty good. We might run into some dudes here. This is always the best place. I'll stop for this guy. Up ahead is the best place to collect armor. Mercy, trying... sir. Please, sir. Help me. Oh, he wants some shoes. What's happened? I do have some by chance. Wait. Just give him a band aid. Give him the shitty ones. Get one. That's all you got. Thank you, sir. And So when you're trying to build Privis Lavis at the end, the best place to go is back and forth from the monastery to Ravna and you get stopped around here and you can, I'm not going to do it, there's guys there, their armor is worth tons and right there where we just went by, it's either place they'll stop you and you can just keep going back and forth there forever and collecting armor and the stuff is worth a lot. So now we have to go yeah. find Esther and she's the green marker on our shield or on our compass but if you go straight up this way it's too rocky you can make her but it's, it's a rough go so anything a little less rough because right here is a path and you just get on it yeah it'll save you tripping all over the place there's a nest there too if you want to get it. I forget what's in it, but it's junk. How did it go? There it is. One garage in. The arrow costs more than that. Yeah! Okay. Right about here, you can just head on up. Yeah. You now, if you just want to come in like a fucking gangbuster, you can. And then just go over here. My prayer. Just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. Over here! Where is everyone? Quick! Hey! Watch out for the archer, though. Weapons. Whatever ones are lesser. Hey! Who's there? You call that combat? Not really. Who's there? Well, now, look what's come crawling out. Hey, get away from the horse, bro. To arms! Get over here! <clears throat> Alarm! Uh, hey! All of you, gather here! Raise the alarm! Oh down. I'm gonna take the hit. 
He's pretty pretty good at moving around. Oh, that was bad. Can't see us anymore. Fuck. Obviously you need to practice. It's way off. That was fucking close. Good practice, though. gonna die anyways. Take that. Take your cash. Take your spurs. Take the arrows. Do a key. A shed key collection. Usually they don't have much. That's why I'm not worried about Buddy. But he could have bled out easily. Right here somewhere. Nope. So get the lock picking skills even though you have the key. And there's Esther. They won't hurt you now. Florian told me where they took you. Okay, it's not it's his not fault. So usually I'll stop and and go right to the quest, but I'm gonna go with. I'll her. go with you. So I do it right. So we take her back. Usually I would just tell her to go on her own, and then I go right to the silver mines from there. So keep that in mind, but then we fail a couple little parts. So we can talk with Flo, bro, about Esther. Who is it? What do you mean, who is it? Yeah, it's right here. Saved her. God save. I saved her. And where's Raptor? He follows me. Well, let's get to it. What? Let's go. Good. See you later. So now you're supposed to find Verpota. Now I've killed his horse before, but then it's he wouldn't talk to me. Are you Rapporteur? Pardon me. No, but I'm hoping. Uh, It'll only take a moment. Um. He's gonna run. I know that you spy on. Uh. None. Of course, of course. So. Uh, but if you do it this way, you can fight him without getting in trouble. Slow down, Ropota. No, I give up. So, are you ready? I will. What do you want from me? Tell me where the it's in the Scarlet's mines. Sir Sir Yezek. What? Yezek. That's who he's working for. And Yezek's working for the yeah. people above him. He don't know. Be off while you uh, can. You're not worth tainting my sword with. We didn't have to do the sass out copper thing. It's boring. So when he goes, this is a guy that you can kill forever. If you follow him somewhere where nobody is, you can sword him till the end of time, and he won't die. Shoot him with arrows, everything. He's unkillable. But right now he's in town and you'll get in mucho trouble. Let's just run him over. So we're supposed to go to the Scarlet's Mines. We won't worry about him. You can kill him forever with your sword. Upgrade points, everything. So if we're lucky, we might get pulled over right at the corner where we want to go. And you could have done this right after you um, saved Esther. You could have just rode down the hill to here. Right there. That cave right there. But I want to do it right. And yeah. I didn't go talk to the people about copper. There was too much of a run around for not, not enough reward. So 
I did fail that, and I do apologize. Could just talk to the blacksmiths and stuff. So it'll save when you're close. What's up, guys? Over here! Where is everyone? Settle down. Here, Lily Raise liver. your arm! Watch out! Green level. Bring Everybody's it on. fucking dancing around. <coughs> Come weak at the knees, have you? Oh, fuck oh. you, Kurt. You can't hide oh. from me. Hey! I'm going to enjoy all this. of you, gather here! Oh, look at that. Raise the alarm! Raise the alarm! I Watch slaughter you! Oh. No. You missed me. Alarm! <laughs> Is that the oh. best you can do? Right? Not the best. It's not like the best I can do. I got one. A 115 with your name on it there. Happy torch Hey, boy. all of you! Gather here! Raise Stop the moving. alarm! Stop moving. Is that all you got? Raise the alarm! What right. And we'll get rid of this one one twenty five. Steady, 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 steady. The other guy gave up. Cash, arrows, no, shitty arrows. Cash, arrows. I don't want too much from these guys. They don't have much I want. Cash. Arrows. Cash. Oh, look, he's got 4130s. If he didn't have them, they would be in the chest behind us. Cash. Arrows. That's it. So they won't be in here now. 80s. Those are pretty pimp, though. Look at 1k. So make sure your charisma's up. 13, we're good. If not, drink a marigold. Let's put on a torch. And let's actually keep the bow out instead. So we need to still find somebody on the way through here. Workshop. So you came alone. I don't need anyone else. And all I have to say is, it doesn't matter oh. now. And then you have nowhere to go. If your Christmas high enough, this will work. Go. If really? not, you got to fight him. Whoever gets to Duke now, maybe a deal See? with Sir Radzik. It's true they say he's a canny man. If, you but if your Christmas is too low, I think it's below ten. Oh, you'll well, have to fight him. May as well climb you can use your bow. The maw of the beast. So let's go. Master Fafar will be itching to ask you a few questions. And that's it, guys. That's the end of this episode four. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Fafar. So we did pestilence and all the glisters, was it? No questions. I'll take answers. some men and have a good look around there. This is the whole thing. And what should I do? But we're still you not done. Some rest. And go to it's going to start getting a lot better next round. In the meantime, so Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. I think number five is going to be the best right. run of them all. I'll see you in Ratai then. But that's for the next video, guys. Appreciate everyone who came along. We have to go question Yezhek. And we basically just all done here. We just head her on back. And we talked to Zigzag. So we will do that in the next episode, guys. 
Thanks for coming along. I'm going to quick travel there. And on the next episode, we'll be right in Rate talking to Sir Radzik Kobila. Peace out. <laughs>